Hey guys, good morning. Um, so I did a video yesterday uh, in which I was referring to Florida and the right wing policy they were putting forward. And I was telling y'all about a family member that I had a conversation with. And the family member felt like um, it isn't as bad as it looks. And I know that that's a part of him living in a majority majority minority area of Florida. So they think that they're safe. And it's also the fact that when you're in a boiling pot, you don't see it maybe the way everybody else around you can. Now, um, <clears throat> the point of this video is it's worse than I thought. You know, I said in the other video that I thought they were they had presented a bill uh, that educators had to uh, lay out what their political values, political identities were, and that was not passed. Uh, and my point was, even if Republicans don't get what they want right now, don't think you're safe because a judge puts an injunction on something. Because what they're doing is they're, they're changing society slowly because they're changing what's acceptable and what's not. Very slowly. They're playing the long game. They have the money. They have the means. They don't care about climate change. They don't care about any type of real uh, infrastructure issues in society. They just care about um, being a majority in power. So I think it was Friday or Thursday, uh, the governor of Florida sent 50 people, uh, 50 migrants, to Martha's Vineyard. Uh, it's in Massachusetts. And... You know, MS, MSNBC made a great a great um, uh, uh, connotation or comparison between that and the Freedom Writers that, you know, they were doing some of the same stuff back then. Um, you know, this is, it's nasty, and I'm hearing that this may be a crime, that, that uh, the governor may have committed a crime. Um, I think this is another example of just how dastardly Republicans really are, that you know, they, and, and it's also another part of what I've been saying that they're living in a society of people that don't like them and their values are less, you know, less seen as acceptable and that this is what they do. We're going to, I'm going to, my whole politics will be about shock tactics and shock politics and that it will be about scaring people and shocking people and hurting people because I'm dealing with a population 70% of which I can't even get to and I hate them <clears throat> and they hate me and I will just uh, make everything their fault this is another example of that that you know Michael Brooks put it that they will always win when it comes to uh, money and media and 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 uh, technology and the ability to put forward shock troops and you know uh, private security forces to beat you up, they will always be able to win with this. That you know when Marx talked about, I think it was workers writ large. Like that's all you got. That's it. Um, this was nasty. And in my mind, this was kidnapping. If I take some children from here. And I say I'm taking them to their preschool or their school. And I take them out in the middle of, uh, you know, think of somewhere in Pennsylvania that's barren. I drop them out there. I'd leave them. That would be kidnapping. I would be, that's a crime. I would go to jail for that. And I see it no different than this. And it's also the cruelty of the migrants, you know, dressing up and looking nice. And... You know what I mean? And now they're going to a military base to probably live in tents. Just think about the cruelty. I mean, that's one thing with Republicans is that even if you're a Republican and you believe in all this, throughout COVID, without Trump, throughout all this, is that they don't value lives. This is all about a politics of cruelty. You know, I first started understanding this. There was a, a state trooper in um, Washington State that he quit because he, he wouldn't get the shot. He was talking about how the governor says I'm dirty, so I'm quitting, and you know, F him, and 
He went on Fox News and he was writing a book and all this stuff and he died of COVID. And Fox never said anything about that. They never said, you know, hey, to, your, to his family, we feel bad. No. The, he, that, tro that trooper, just like those people on those planes are puppets. They're chess pieces. They're tokens in a much larger game. And, and that, I think that, that terrifies me throughout all this, that they're willing to enlist a civil war and they'll set these bumpkins on us and it just doesn't matter to them. No matter how dangerous they make, because they can, they can get hot in this country. It, that's, that's the most terrifying aspect of this. And it's also, and I'm going to leave it here, I heard rednecks talking like this 10 years ago. Well, I'm going to take, take the migrants and just dump them at Nancy Pelosi's house. And it, like this is where the Republican Party is now. They're at the base now of our political opportunities aren't about making people's lives better. Our political movement is about taking the dumbest, most ignorant tweets and the you know the the, the half a thought uh, e, 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 the half a thought eruption from a redneck's mind and spending our money to go and do it. That's terrifying. Thank you for listening.